Hey, it's Monk, and I'm at Black Warrior Brewing Company this morning, hanging out with Eric Hull, and uh, just wanted to basically get uh, get some insight on what uh, Black Warrior Brewing Company is doing. We got America on Tap coming up on May 16th. I know you guys are probably going to premiere a new beer there. What, like, and you really don't have to explain so much that, but what do you kind of have going on? Because I know you guys are kind of like scientists. You got a new beer that premieres every every week. So every Monday, week. release something new. Right? So, what do you have like coming up? You got some special topsoil beer or something crazy, like a you know pudding or something? <laughs> Nothing quite that crazy. Uh, <laughs> and we've been playing around with a number of, of our small batches uh, that we're just you know, trying to you know, put different iterations on and get better and better for you know, release eventually into the distribution market. And one of the ones we're real excited about is our double IPA. Mm -hmm. uh, and I had that uh, two, two weeks ago? It was two or three yeah. weeks ago, yeah, we had it. Yeah. Uh, good, Very good. It was 9.2%. It's a good little kick to it, a good malt backbone to it, as well as a good hoppy finish. Uh, so that's one we're real excited about. Um, you know, in the pipeline with our small batch, uh, we've usually got a pale ale going. Mm -hmm. um, we've got a white IPA we just released this week. You got a hot brown. A hot brown. We took our broad street brown and threw a bunch of habanero peppers in it. Oh, that's awesome. And give it a little spice. Now, now I know at one point you guys had a the hot blonde. Correct. Which is one of my favorites that you've ever brewed. You got plans to maybe bring the hot blonde back? Yeah, they'll come back too. Cool. Uh, you know, we had some peppers and had a little bit of extra brown, so we threw in that. But it's just one we can play around with and have fun. Okay. So how do you feel now? It's really exciting to me as, as a craft beer lover. The, the, the kind of surge that, that craft beer and, and people who are drinking craft beer now and the breweries that are popping up everywhere. How do you feel about the, the I guess, the craft beer community in Tuscaloosa? It's a community that's still on its growth. Um, yeah. I've seen when Druid City started a couple years ago, they did a ton of work um, for Tuscaloosa, you know, bringing people into that craft industry. Yeah. You know, prior to that, there was no craft beer here. There's, you know, you've got a few Birmingham breweries in town, um, some taps, but before that, it was all your domestics that were on tap anywhere. So Druid City kind of paved that way for us, and then we followed behind their, um, them, just under a year behind them, and you know continued to take more and more taps away from those domestics. Um, and then, yeah, yay. <laughs> <laughs> As we've really seen the palette of the Tuscaloosa change, and yeah. we're excited for that. Um, it's still a long ways to go, you know, especially being such a college town. Mm -hmm. And you know we rotate through students you know, every year. There's a new batch from coming in and a batch from leaving. So you know, it's a continual education process for them. And then you know you've heard of Band of Brothers opening Band up Brothers, yes. um, here in the next few months. So we're looking forward to them opening up as well. So bring a third one here in town. Well, I'm looking forward to drinking more local Tuscaloosa beer. And you guys are going to be bottling soon. So let's talk about we got the Alabama Brew Fest coming up. We've also got Bacon and Brew Fest. There's lots of Brew Fest. How do those benefit you guys? As far as the local ones here, what it does is it kind of introduces our beer to those that aren't craft beer drinkers. Mm -hmm. So you know, people are getting dragged along their friends saying, hey, you get a bunch of beer and try a bunch of stuff. And so it, it may be their first experience in a craft beer. Uh, it may be, you know, they pseudo craft where they're drinking Shock Top and Blue Moon and stuff. Yeah. And then introduce some local breweries. Um, so yeah, the ones in town are just trying to draw those people that aren't craft centric here. Yeah. Um, we've got a number from out of town all over the state and I'm heading to one this week actually down Mobile and those it's really getting our name out. Yeah. And so we've got distribution throughout the state but there's still a lot of people that don't know about Black Warrior so it's great to just put a face to name, get our logo out there and some beers in their hands. Well very cool. Well Eric I appreciate you, you talking with us today and uh, y'all come on down to Black Warrior there on University Boulevard. Enjoy some good old fine beer like this Belgian Red Rye that I'm enjoying now.